Global Super Motocross World Championship in the 250 class. Listen to the crowd, they know some history's on the line. How special it is, Levi Kitchen will win the moto. circuit. Thank you. Here we are on a YZ125 project. Um, we are using the dyno jet to um, tune this YZ125 for the customers. We use the dyno jet for various um, data collecting and that's important to us because we base all of our information on data. If there's an issue with a bike we can troubleshoot it also. We look at the runs and then we collect this data and then we start developing our products. You know, in the early days, we used a super flow a lot, and we noticed a lot of guys starting to use dyno jets, and we got one as a backup, you know, to, to use it. And actually, we started using it more and more, and, and now it's like the, it's what we use more than anything. So again, we collect all this data, even for certain manufacturers for products. Um, we'll, V-Force will give us a couple type of reads, a couple little cages for us to dyno to see what works best. And then we collect that data that we see on the dyno jet and then we give that information to them. Same thing with VP fuels. They'll let us try a bunch of different fuels. We'll see how it is on the dyno between power, um, heat controlled, and then we'll collect that data and give that to them. Uh, this is the race team dyno, dyno number two. This is a 250i. This particular one is race team only. They do break-in race engines every um, Every race engine gets dyno, and then also all their development work gets dynoed also. How many motors do you build per rider per weekend? Is it two? Yes. Two, two motors per weekend per rider. So the mechanic tears it down. Yes. He re essentially rebuilds the motor. Yep. And then does it ever get ran, or is first practice the first time it's ran? No, nope, it goes okay. back on the dyno. And it checks we, out. We check all the yeah. data to yeah. make sure there's not more blow by, yep. make sure we can yep. tell if a cam cap is loose. It's running to par because yep. we have all the baseline. Benchmarks, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Then it's good to take out. It's really user friendly. And it allows us, like for a guy like Schneike, like we might in one day run three different brands of bikes, um, and uh, I give it a give it an A plus. All right. What do you want to do, Schneike? Just what do you think about Dino Jet? What's that? Just what do you think about Dino Jet, and that's it. I like the Superbow better. <laughs> I love it! <laughs> so good! Uh, I like it. Right up. I like it. <laughs> uh.